the invitation of the Chinese into Nigeria to help cushion the effect of the coronavirus has met with criticism. The NANS gives the federal government 72 hours to repatriate the Chinese doctors back to their country and, of course, probe the Treasury House Inferno. That is the office of the Accountant General of the Federation. The arrival of these Chinese doctors in Nigeria received more criticism than commendations. With the leadership of the National Assembly, the Nigeria Medical Association, Nigeria Union of Journalists and other bodies tackling the federal government for taking such inimical decision. The National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, an umbrella body of the Nigerian Student Worldwide, in a briefing at the weekend, had the federal government a 72-hour ultimatum to send back the Chinese doctors, repatriate them back to their country. Like I said, this was even as the body also taxed the president, Buhabad Buhari, to commence a probe into the mysterious inferno that got the accountant general office the, of the federation. And he has to do this in 72 hours. Some Chinese 15 doctors had arrived in the country via EPIS, that, has, that, that seems to be the national carrier now, on 8th April 2020 to assist the Nigerian government in the fight against the spread of coronavirus. Comrade Danielson Akman, president of the Nigerian Students, at a press briefing in Abuja, said the issue of invitation and subsequent airlifting of Chinese medical personnel was an affront on the hardworking, efficient, and reliable Nigerian doctors who give their best patriotically since the outbreak of COVID-19. He said NANS aligns with the Nigeria Medical Association and condemned the invitation of Chinese nationals into the country, demands information about their whereabouts, and seeks their immediate repatriation back to their country to go there to solve their um, infection, the virus that is killing many of their people. Curiously, upon their unwelcome arrival, Nigeria recorded the highest number of COVID-19 cases. Is there any nexus? These are the questions that begs for answer. We appreciate their humanitarian support, but we do not need their personnel because our medical practitioners are capable to manage the situation. Akrat said the federal government should rather concern itself with airlifting Nigerian students who are stuck in China, who are crying and asking for the federal government to bring them back home, even if they are going to be self-isolated for the 14 days. You need to see what's happening in China. People that have gone there on business, people that live there, um, and also students, people that are of brown skin tone, they are being discriminated against. There is a city, a region in China called Guangzhou, if I got that pronounced properly, where we saw videos of the ambassador, the consulate general, or Nigerian consulate general, standing firm, standing up to the Chinese government, to the Chinese authorities, for the way they are discriminating against Africans. They now claim that the Africans are the one that brought the virus to that Guangzhou, when from China, the virus spread all over the world and that's killed people. The world is not looking at them and pointing fingers at them and saying they are killers yet but they are quick and fast in pointing fingers at other people why are they doing this because they've come to realize that no one is going to stand for that african in that continent because right there in their own country they've not gotten it right their leaders are selected or maybe elected somehow and they have not been able to do the right thing over time and it's gone for centuries it's a long story here. Yeah. So, Hakpan said the federal government should rather concern itself with airlifting Nigerian students who are stuck in China or in any country and the student needs to come back rather than them being, bringing people um, that are not needed into the country. That's just what it is. Now, why should they now be bringing people to come into Nigeria for medical experiment in testing and treating COVID-19, even when they are not carrying the virus. Now, on the issue of the bond treasury, the national NANS president said the fire outbreak at a time of national lockdown was condemnable and demanded urgent investigation. The story they came up with is that an air conditioning unit caught fire. How can the air conditioning unit catch fire if it is 
shut down if there is a lockdown and it is not working how did it come about catching fire there is more to this this is not the first time that they will be burning down treasury burning down offices whenever questions are asked they know that that place is where the information as regards the billion of naira that they claim they spent within two days within 72 hours or is it 48 hours they claim that billions were shared to people how fast and how swift so they said they demand urgent investigation in their words, they said, we hereby issue a 72-hour ultimatum to the authorities concerned to investigate, conduct investigation into what led to the fire incident. The Minister of Finance and indeed the Gutted Accountant General's Office told Nigerians and the world that all beneficiaries of the COVID-19 palliative policy are safely captured in a data upon the query by the National Assembly on the accountability and the reach of the management of COVID-19 finances. Unfortunately, less than 24 hours after, a strange fire engulfed the Accountant General's office. This is not acceptable to Nigerians, and we state categorically that building is a national asset, which no person or group of persons have the right to destroy for cover-up or connivance. That is what they said. The student leader, leader also called on the federal government to be transparent in the distribution of palliatives, saying Nigerians demand to know how the donations so far made have been distributed. In his words, he said, we condemn in totality the pattern of disbursement as far as claimed by the PTF and FMHSD. The process is not transparent and does not get to the vulnerable people as claimed while no one knows where those mentioned billions have been spent since the palliative measures began information at our disposal revealed that while the government had marked twenty thousand naira for the vulnerable nigerians a paltry ten thousand naira was disbursed in carefully selected remote rural areas information reaching us further revealed that they are trying to conjure fake data to cover up to show that they have given to large numbers of people all concerned must be ready to render account of their stewardship in this trying moment of our national life. It's so sad that someone will want to make, take an opportunity of this virus that is killing people to make money for themselves. Akman commended the pattern used by the GMD of National Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Mele Kiari, and others by donating materials directly to the people at hospitals instead of giving cash donations to the tax force that cannot be accounted for. It faulted the composition of the presidential tax force on COVID-19, demanding that NANS and other youth bodies should be included in the PTF and health-related students be mobilized to serve as ad hoc staff or supportive staff. Is that not how it's supposed to be done in a senior climb? Where did they learn their own from? How come everything is always done upside down? They just have to come up with something so as to be able to steal money. It has become a pattern of the day. That's why a lot of people are asking for a break of the nation, break away of a contraption, a geographical expression. So maybe we'll be able to get it right. But with the way the structure is, with the way things are at the moment, I do not believe that good things will come down to the people in the grassroots, the people that actually need it. The money is like um, something they just share a few around some groups of people, then it goes round circles. How can the federal government talk of 20,000 naira? The next thing we are hearing is 10,000 and 5,000. So by even saying they are giving them 2,000 naira, either true or not. The reason why all of these stories will be coming out, different rumors, either true or not, like I said, is because they have made sure, they made sure over time, for more than 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, they've made sure that there is no reliable database so as to be able to steal so as to be able to commit crime and there is no one among their ranks and fire it takes a president to stand up to this it takes the people to stand up to this but we do not have anybody that you can actually call and point to be to being a president that is productive we've never had them the the people themselves they've become weak because hunger has been used as a weapon and some of them do not even know what is right they do not know what they deserve they don't understand the law. That's the problem. Two problems that I see. We have the government that is not willing. They are not willing to do the right thing. And we have people that do not know. So the combination of this group of people is what we have right now. That's why when someone comes up to emancipate them from their blind and their, their oppressive, repressive state, 
they fight you instead because they know no better. And the ones that even know a little bit, they are ready to you know, keep the rest you know, down. So it's a terrible thing. It's a very sad one. Federal government has been given 72 hours to repatriate the Chinese doctors and allow the Nigerian doctors to operate. If they need professionals such as molecular biologists or lab scientists and the rest of that, that's a different case. Um, and in the case of the money, it is good that they come out to say the truth about this. And for those billionaires, banks that are giving money to the federal government, you have done the most hurtful and the most bad thing. Rather than you giving the money directly to the people that need it, rather than you putting money into the bank accounts of people that have banked with you over time, you decide to give the federal government because you yourself, probably you want to come some money or this bank uh, MD or whatever. We don't know what you guys are up to. We don't know what the truth about what your actions are. Maybe you also want to come out some money. So you write it on paper that you transfer this amount of money, then they give you kickback. All of you are involved in this. And for the billionaires, I don't know what to tell you. We do that many of you did not get money from a clean source. All of most of you got money from the same oppression that people are suffering from. And rather than you giving back to the society at this trying time and washing away your sins, you have decided to be more evil. It's so bad and it's so terrible. People are asking for help. And yet, you are giving money to the federal government that over time have never been accountable. So guys, that's what it is for now. What do you think about all of this?